Hey everyone, in this video we're going to discuss forms and how to use some forms on your page. So let's scroll down in our toolbox to our form section. Form controls. Now for most of you, if you've never created a form before, the easiest way to do it is just to click the form wizard. And once again in WYSIWYG Web Builder, we're going to just drag out a box. And we're going to choose a create form from a template. And you'll see a large array of templates in here. Now, if you use something like um, Form Buddy or Mail My Form, uh, there are some options in here for you as well. But for most people, we're just going to click uh, choose a basic form design. And I'm going to choose this very basic one right here. It's just got, so far it starts with a name and an email. And we're going to click Next. Now here's where we can decide what we want. We have a name and an email and a Submit button. Okay, so uh, let's um, say we wanted some more. I want to add a text area so they can give me some message or feedback. And so I'm going to click inside the label and we're going to call this message semicolon. All right. So now we have name, email, and message. Now I'm going to highlight the message because I wanted to move it up in the form because I want it to be above the submit button. Um, but we can add capture, checkbox, combo, edit, uh, file upload labels, radio buttons, uh, there's several options in here. Um, I may do a video on a more complex website, but for the most part, most people just want to, I don't know, capture, you know, get some feedback and people want questions, so a name, an email, and a question, okay? So that's what we have right here, and I'm going to click Next. Now we can name our form, we can name we can leave it by default as contact. And the form action, we want to choose use built-in PHP form processor. Now, 99% of most web hosts have access to PHP, and that's what you want to use to make this move, this form transfer smoothly through the email process back to you. Okay? Now the email address, this one right here is the email address back to you. So it would be either support at or admin at or even your name at whatever now it's important to remember that it should be on the same domain as the website that the people are on so if your website is called reddoor.com it really should go back to support at reddoor.com or admin at reddoor.com something something like that now I've known of people being able to get away with using Gmail or Yahoo accounts but uh, you'd have to test that for yourself because uh, I've done that in the past. I've used a Yahoo account and uh, about 80% of them seem to get through and I have some problems with the, the other 20%. So, But I would definitely just keep it at the domain that you are on. Okay. The subject, this is the subject line is going to be the subject line that you're going to see in the email when you receive it. So it's going to be whatever you would like it to be. Okay. Now, by default, you need to have a success URL and an error URL. Success URL is once they hit the submit form on, on, on the form itself, it will be taken to another page saying usually like, thank you for submitting uh, your question or your comment, and we'll get back to you soon, whatever. And the error URL is like they didn't fill it out right or something went wrong, and oops, we didn't go through please go back and check your information again. Now, you're going to have to create these pages within your website, obviously, and you can name them whatever you want. And once you hit select, once you have more pages propagated in your website, you'll be able to click on that and highlight them and, and, and include them there, okay? So that is basically the generic way to create a form. And as you can see here, we added the message box and the, the, send, the send button. Now, we, we will not be able to preview this 
like normal web pages because it's a PHP we'd have to actually publish the site and then review it that way but there is one key element to all this you have to change the page properties to PHP now you can easily do that here we have the form highlighted if we click outside of the form we're on the page right click page properties and then right here where it says file extension we're going to make sure that says PHP okay alright so make sure that that, in, that that file has changed to or that page has changed to a PHP and not an HTML now as far as the rest of this it's just like anything else in WYSIWYG Web Builder we can we can reposition things we can uh, object properties we can go into the style and change let's say the background we want solid and let's say we want to be red okay uh, let's see. we can come up here and change this text double click on it whoops we can change the name the alignment of it style let's say we want it to be white text let's see what white text looks like Ooh, okay um, style again we have the white text let's make it uh, bold I guess let's see what that looks like uh, all right not much better but anyway and you can move those around a little bit if we want message to be down here a little bit further like we want this center down here you know, it's endless. We we can we can style this however however we want it, and we click out of it, click back on it. Handlebars all the way around it. We can move it around our page. I'm going to F5 this just to see what happens here. Oops. All right. Well, it does show up on our page. I guess if I F5 it, it does show up as far as the styling is concerned. But you will not be able to fill this out and send it until you actually upload it to your website. But you can actually preview it within your website by by de either being preview or F5ing. Okay. So let's go back to WYSIWYG Web Web Builder. Now, um, if we highlight individual aspects of this and go into the object properties. We do have a little bit more control here. Um, we can dictate certain parameters, like like we highlighted this box here, which we want it to pertain to the name. We can tell it, and this is where you'll get into some um, uh, error aspects as far as, you know, if the person fills out the form wrong. Like as far as the name is concerned, we want it to be text, okay? We don't want it to be a date. We don't want it to be a telephone number. We don't want it to be a time. And you can change all these. If you have more sophisticated forms, obviously you have these options. But for a name, we just want it to be text, okay? Uh, we can put in an initial value, which will show up right here. Let's just say name. Okay, and we hit OK. And as you'll see, it has name in there basically telling them that hey in the name field we want you to type your name okay now let's go back in here object properties like in this one field here we want the email we can tell it we want an email address and if they type anything else in there without a format of an email address it'll give an error okay so that is uh, an important feature. Message, object properties. Object properties. There we go. Object properties. Scroll this out of the way. initial value 
the text area is always going to be text so there's no function to change whatever you want. when you do a text insert box it's going to be text by default but you can actually put um, uh, comments um, oops got the s on the end of comments now I'm capitalizing it there we go comments and hit OK and you can see comments in there so as you'll see there are a lot of different things you can do with forms a lot of different ways to style them and there are a lot of complicated forms you can get into uh, there's even uh, the ability to add an upload uh, for files if you if you're into you know wanting to have people upload you specific files and then you can actually dictate what files those would be and then you'd go in and uh, dictate what folder on your server or hard drive you wanted those to be uploaded to so um, there are a lot of different features of forms we will get into them more in depth as we go along but I just wanted to introduce you to a simple one to get you started and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.